So we've been looking at brace expansions and we're going to continue working with that and get more into a little more practical use of them. And in this case, I'm going to show you how to create folders and files uh, using brace expansions. Um, you, so you can create prefixes or I guess postfixes on the file names and folder names. So real quick, normally we'd create a folder like so, make dir, and we'd call it, let's say, testing or test. And then I can change into that directory. So we've created that directory and we moved into it. If I list out, you can see there's nothing in this directory. Let's say I wanted to create three folders. I can do make dir, and then inside our expansion, expansion braces, we can do cat, comma, dog, comma, mouse. And when I hit enter, if I list out, you can see we have three folders cat, dog, and mouse. So we created three folders. So, I mean, that's somewhat practical. It saves you trouble of uh, writing the make uh, directory command three times, but an even more practical use for it would be, let's say you're working on a project and you need to create um, different variations of that project. So you want to create three folders for, let's say, uh, unstable testing and stable. So what we could do is we could go make dir, and we can, inside our braces, we can say unstable testing and stable. But instead of just creating folders with, that, with those names, those could be the prefixes or the postfixes, I guess, in this case. We'll say project underscore and we can hit enter and if we list out now we still have our cat dog and mouse but you can see we have a folder called project stable project testing and project unstable you can also do it the other way around we could say at the end uh, project so now if I list out you can see that we have our cat mouse and dog we have our project testing, unstable and stable, but we also have stable project, testing project, and unstable project. So you can see how you can use this to postfix or prefix a group of files or folders. Uh, and to do files, well, depending on how you're creating the files, what we could do here is um, we'll just touch and create empty files, text files for right now. And so we'll just say touch, and we will do the same thing as before. We can say well, we'll say, uh, uh, let's see, let's do a range of numbers like we were working with with our number range. We can say um, 01 dot dot 10, and we can say um, underscore file dot txt. Now, if I list out, you can see that I have 10 files. Uh, 01 file, 02 file, 03 file, 04 file, all the way through 10. And they're listed in order because we uh, padded it with that zero as I showed you in the previous tutorial. Uh, you can also go, once again, instead of uh, prefixing it, you can postfix it. So we can say file 01 dot dot 10. And we can list it out, and you can see now that we have file 1, file 2, file 3, all the way through file 10. So there's a little bit of a practical use, maybe get your mind jogging on what we've been learning and maybe some practical uses for it. Play with it, uh, and uh, I just hope that you visit my site, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description, and I hope that you have a great day.